Open gloving technique isn't something I usually teach, given that I work in the operating department and we always use closed gloving technique for surgical procedures. However, if it's aseptic technique you're looking for, for example insertion of a catheter, then we use sterile gloves with the aseptic technique in the open glove manner. This is how it goes. Now this is a sterile packet and my hands are just clean, they've had a social wash. My nails are short so that when I turn my hands over I can no longer see the nails and this is what you'd expect for you don't want to risk puncturing your gloves. It also makes it easier to keep your nails nice and clean if they're short. If I was to open my packet in a normal way you might find that the packet naturally wants to come shut again. So that's going to give you some issues when you're trying to get your sterile gloves onto your clean hands. So if when you open your packet you then turn the bottom edge under that holds your packet open so you're ready to go. Now these sterile gloves need to go into my clean hands and what I want to not do is touch the sterile part of the outside of the glove. So if you look here, this is the inside of the glove, the cuff that's folded up and these are the sterile outsides. So I want to stay away from this part of the sterile field with my clean hands so that I can have a sterile field with which to work if I need to drop anything onto it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my right hand first. This is the inside of the glove, so I can touch this freely, but you don't want to be touching too much if you can help it. So I'm going to pick this up with my left hand. My right hand I'm going to almost pinch together. And I find it easier to put my hand in the wrong way to the glove, just to insert, and then I turn it round to the right orientation. And you can wiggle your fingers as you go so they go into the fingers of the glove. Now I'm pulling this only and letting this slip on and leaving this like so. So this is still the inside of the glove and these fingers are the outside which is a sterile area. This is now contaminated and no longer sterile. To do the left hand now I need to do something very different. So if you think about where I can touch with my sterile fingers the fingers will be sterile on both gloves so I can head toward the fingers and if you look here this is the opposite cuff so now I need to do the same thing with my hand and pop it in here but I don't want to come anywhere near with this hand because this hand is sterile. So I'm going to wiggle my fingers in and I'm kind of pulling up with the glove to make sure it stays away from my skin and I mustn't let it snap down because I don't want it to go into the wrong place. Now this is my chance while still holding the sterile bit to pull it round. I'm not changing my hand position on the glove, I'm just manoeuvring the glove and as I let it go, I'm going to make sure that my fingers don't come anywhere near my skin. I'll see if I can get a better angle so you can see. I'm happy with the position now, so I'll just let it go. Now we can come back to the right glove. So the left one is pretty good. I'm fairly happy with that. Now I've got to come back here. Again, I'm going to get hold of this bit from the inside. So this is the sterile side. I know when I put this glove on, I only worked from the bottom edge of the cuff here so I can grasp this quite comfortably. And if I need to, I can use my thumb up at this edge because I will not have gone near it. I now lift this down and again, just folding it down your arm. And I'll keep it this way so you can see. I made sure I've come down as far as I want to go and then I just let it go. And this way I've got nice smooth cuffs up my arm and my gloves are on. And everything on this side of the gloves is sterile. So I can fix my fingers and be happy in the knowledge that these gloves are sterile and I've done them in a very good technique. And there you have it. If you're popping a second pair of gloves on on top, you would do pretty much the same thing. Being careful when you come to putting your cuffs down not to touch your skin. There you have the open glove technique for aseptic technique, not for sterile procedures.